Welcome back guys, JDog back here from Seagahost. Today we're going to be going over how to install a 1.19 paper server onto your Multicraft. So guys, there's a few reasons that you might need to do this. You might be upgrading or you might just be starting a new server. Let's just go through all the things that you might need to do. So first of all, if you have already got a paper server, let's say you're on 1.18.2 and all you're looking to do is to upgrade to 1.19. First thing you're going to do is simply stop the server that you're working on. Once it's stopped, you're going to come down to the server jar and you're going to come down to you find paper 1.19. Once that's selected, just come down, hit save make sure that it's actually saved and then you can start up the server and it will upload itself to 1.19 just bear in mind if you do this any plugins that do not work and have not been updated for 1.19 might make the server crash so if you are using any external plugins either remove them if they're not compatible or just make sure that you've uploaded the new server jar you can keep all of your server data or your plugin data by going to your plugin folder and simply replacing the plugin jar file rather than the data file so that's all you got to do if you want to upgrade super easy peasy how about if you want to start up a brand new you've just got yourself a server same as i just done now we're going to stop the server first and we're simply going to choose the paper 1.19 version now depending on what we were before if you want to reset and you were using a completely different server you want to wipe all of them files you can also do something else which is come over to your files over here and go to setup from setup we're simply going to choose clean mod directories plugins and we're also going to click delete all server files at this point you're going to need to put in your multicraft password and then click apply once you click apply so this will be run on the next setup meaning that when you next restart or start your server it will delete all the old server files and start up with a brand new server jar that you just selected now come down i've already chose paper 1.19 obviously you can now choose paper 1.19 yourself make sure that you click save after you chose your paper jar and then simply start your server back up now what this will do is it will boot back up with all the new server files for paper 1.19 and um, if you had started from new it would have simply replaced the default server jar or if you started from another server it's just now deleted your files by using the setup and then started up a brand new server jar on paper 1.19 as you can see, server started up, all ready to go. One thing I will say that if you are updating your uh, server from a 1.18.2, I would suggest taking a backup first because 1.19 worlds currently are not compatible with 1.18.2. So if you do uh, upload your server to a 1.19 and your world's on there, it will then be incompatible with any previous version. So just take a backup first to be safe. So thanks for watching, guys. If you are looking for a server, use code 25OFF. That's 25OFF um, to get 25% off your first Minecraft server with us. And we'll see you on the next tutorial.